Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna do a rope simulation. All right, so in the previous video, we did a model of a rope, and here's what we did in the last one just a simple rope with one of the techniques that we can be done with. Of course, there's other ways to do this, but this is what I chose to show you how to model the rope. Now, again, there's a few different ways you could simulate this and give it the simulation, but I choose FEM, or the new Finite Element Solver in Houdini. Why? Well, because I wanted to use it. That's it. You could use a wire solver, uh, which I actually tried here. Uh, you could use a uh, grain solver as well, as well, but I didn't actually get the results that I wanted because I wanted the actual rope to have like a squishy feeling a little bit. I wanted to try that thing and FEM is just perfect for this. It's just the, the way to, and I really got the results that I expected. So let's start doing this. So we have this rope, just the simple rope that we uh, ended up in the previous tutorial. I'm gonna extend this rope to about 200. It's gonna be really long. Now, you can see it's pretty long. Now I'm just gonna put a transform here to move the rope up in the air so I can just start dropping this like it's falling from somewhere. I have a camera just to see where it's gonna fall. And uh, the uh, transforms, you can see them there. It's just making the uh, rope not be straight, it's just a little bit angled so it falls over to this side and has this uh, really interesting coiling. So now we're just gonna select the rope, go to the solids section here in the tab, I'm just gonna create a solid object of this. Alright, so excuse me, I'm gonna delete this uh, dub net that I already had there, in your case you might not uh, have it, but I'm gonna do a new one for this rope. And I'm gonna use this as the active one. Now let's try this again because I didn't have that letter ready. Make it a solid object. Now there you go, it's a solid object. It's just trying to make uh, the tetrahedrons around the rope. Now we can even just uh, start simulating this and it's just not doing anything because there's not enough information for this. We need to go in and create a gravity force. Now we plug it and make sure the gravity force is connected there. Now it's starting to fall, and we need a plane because it's not in, it's not gonna collide with anything. So let's just put a ground plane connected here in the merge. Make sure this is in mutual, or just put it to left side and connect the ground plane in the left side. Now rewind and play. Now this is colliding, but it's just totally, totally, totally wrong. It's just uh, squishing completely into the ground. If she's okay, we're gonna fix it. You can see it's starting to uh, gain some uh, volume there, but it's not enough. Now we need to see uh, the rope object here, which is a solid object. Uh, there's some presets here, you can try them and they will uh, work for you, uh, depend depending on what you want. If your thing is rubber or it's an organic mess, uh, you can select a preset from here. In our case, we're gonna choose anything. So you can see that's a rubber thingy, but it's kinda doing what we want, but it's not. So uh, we're gonna, we can start with this, with some of this, and then we're gonna start modifying the parameters here. So the stiffness, it's gonna be about that size, and that is because I want the uh, rope to be a little bit stiff, but not so much. And you can see by what's happening just by playing. You can see the rope, how it is behaving. Now, if we lower this to a hundred, a thousand there, you can see now the rope is just not conserving any of the shape there. You can see the shape is just going completely flat. If we put this up to 15,000, now it conserves more of the shape. You can see it just squashes a little bit, which is what I wanted actually to do. Squashes a little bit, but then comes back. 
And I kind of expect the uh, group to do that a little bit. Just squash a little bit because it's not completely solid. Now the damping ratio is how fast this stuff is going to stop, stop deforming. So I'm going to make this really high. And the density, is I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to leave the density as that. Now the shape stiffness, it's going to help us see. You can see right now this thing. It's losing its shape a lot there. You can see it's squashing maybe too much. If we make this lower, let's just say zero, just to exaggerate that. Let's see what happens when it collides. You can see the shape is just totally lost again. It's not conserving any shape. Let's put this to about 200. It's working as I expected. Now it's going to collide. Now it's not deforming as much, but it's still deforming a little bit, which is exactly what I wanted. And see it's touching the ground, deforms a little bit, and then starts uh, bending, bending the, sh the shape. Now the stiffness conserves the volume of this, and I don't want to lose so much volume like this area here. So let's put this up to 300 and see if it uh, helps us a little bit. And you can see it's not losing so much volume here. But we also need more divisions here. It's kinking a little bit more, but it's not, we're not losing so much volume. We can even put this higher and it will have a harder time bending, I guess. Yeah, it didn't bend as much there, so you can do that. Maybe let's leave it at what I had because I don't want this to bend, make the, I want it to bend, but not too much. And now the friction I'm going to put really high because I don't want the actually 30. I don't want the um, rope to be sliding on the ground. Like you can see it's kind of sliding a little bit and it slides sometimes. So I don't want it to slide too much. So now with the friction up that high, it's just going to stay where it falls m most of the time. So it's just starting to control the movement of it. So now that's pretty fine, but you can see now it's intersecting all over the place. It's not acting as we uh, expected to behave. You can see, let me say all this. See, when the, the rope falls on top of it itself, it's not uh, colliding, right? So what we need to do for that is go to the, uh, to the rope collision section here and enable this option collide within compo connected components. Now, if we simulate that, now it's going to start colliding with itself. You can see now it's colliding with itself over there. It's pretty cool. It's bouncing up on top of itself. It's pretty nice. And you can see, fam, it's really fast, actually. We're simulating really low resolution right now, but it's not that slow. And we can go to the solver, actually. And solver, you can see it's really, really, really simple, actually. And uh, it's just controlling sub steps, the collision passes, the precision, and the integrator. And the integrator, this one's a little bit more rubbery, and that's exactly what I don't need for this rope, so I'm gonna leave it at this one. And I think I'm gonna put the sub steps separate to two for the final thing, but for now, just it's all right. I'm, I'm gonna put collision passes to one just for testing. And then we can go uh, up to two and two for the final thing, or even more if you detect some errors there. So the other thing I want to talk about is the resolution. You can see here I go up and you can see the, the uh, rope, it's already been deformed by that resolution we had, but it's too low right now. You can see it's, we got, we're getting all these errors because there's not enough resolution to the form all this geometry we have. So what we need to do is go here to the solid embed. Let's go up here. Close this one. Now, let's just view this. You can see this is really low. So I'm gonna make this uh, max set scale, just the default of 0.1. And this one, we can go like uh, one, start to get more resolution here. You can see it's, that's more. And once we get more solution, of course, this is gonna start being a little bit slower, but the precision, it's gonna start uh, also rising. It's gonna be better. So now it's just a matter of uh, tweaking the resolution here and simulating and seeing uh, what it's happening and seeing if you like the, uh, the result. If we go here, this is the the actual uh, tetrahedralized uh, mesh that it's been simulated. 
that uh, deforms the object. So we can get a really nice uh, view of what is the the what is the solver actually solving. Now you can see we have some collisions uh, issues there, but we're just uh, simulating one collision path right now. But we're getting kind of a good good uh, rope there. It's it's looking all right. But we can go again lower. But but my and my final thing I went to 0 0.5, which is a uh, really high, but it was uh, looking really nice. You can see it, it takes a little bit of time and it, there's a lot of geometry here, but it looks pretty nice. I'm just going to put it to 0.1 for uh, continue testing here. Now, the other thing here that you need to uh, take care of, uh, these values uh, it took me a lot of just testing and testing and testing until I got the, the right options. But you can see it, it looks, it's not that hard. There's uh, just a little, a few parameters here. So once you get that, you don't have to mess with any other, or other things here. This is just, these tabs are for different things that you can do. But for now, for what we need right now, this is just perfect with the few parameters that we just tweaked. And uh, basically, all you have to do is just tweak these parameters until you get it uh, exactly looking like you want. You can uh, go and read more about the solver if you need to get more precise stuff. but for now it just looks pretty cool just to simulate a few frames you can see it's looking pretty cool it's colliding really well with it you can go back go to the uh other doping port and you can see the rope uh now you can see there are some issues here in the rope sometimes but what i did is just i subdivided the geometry after and that gets uh, rid of uh, more some of those issues and uh, you get less issues of this once you just uh, simulate this with the uh, or the, the final resolution you're going to do for this simulation you can see there's the kinks are barely visible when you just subdivide this or in the uh, final thing it's just going to be great so let's see uh, what the final will look like so once you simulate that you can see i have here zero point uh, 0 0.005 as the final resolution here. Uh, the uh, let me go back. The options for here it's just two and two, and I'm actually simulating at 32 bit, which is a little bit faster. And the same settings here, and we can see the result. I just cache this to disk, and this is what we have. Looks pretty nice. Uh, it settles really well. And you can see it collides with itself with the ground and it's pretty fast. It's not that hard to simulate this really nice looking rope. Uh, there are some kinks I can see. You can see there's one right there. But as, as I said, you can just uh, subdivide it after the fact or at render time and you will get rid of that stuff. So there you go, guys. This is uh, how to make a rope simulation it was not that hard right it was pretty simple surprisingly simple with the new fem solver or the fem solver if you create some stuff please go to the community at mixtraining.com and share it with everybody so we can see what you've done what you've done if you have questions please go here as well and we can answer your questions there all right guys hope you enjoyed this one let's keep learning together and i'll see you in the next one